Partners, Moomoo here, and today, I am visiting a farm. A farm is where we see animals, see all kinds of food, see crops build in, and many more. It's actually one of my favorite places I want to visit. And of course, today, I am pretending to be the person to take care of the farm, like to take care of the animals, the food, and the plants. Can you guess who I am? farm jobs, and much more. So, do you want to join me on a farm tour? You will? Great! Let's go guys! Yeehaw! Welcome to my barn! Well sometimes, it's where animals live, and I had to take care of them if I'm pretending to be a farmer, and I had to feed them as well. So, let's meet the animals. And first, we meet the goat. And the goat, or the sheep, however you call it, baas every day as usual. So, whenever they ba or bleed, they call up on farmers, or people, as we mentioned, to whether or not be hungry and to meet other people as well. Goats eat fruits, such as apples right here, just to keep them healthy. But if you're serving an apple to a goat, just be sure to cut it to make it an apple slice. Just always be sure to feed correct amounts, and to set the apples of a maximum size that a tennis ball are fed daily. Just be sure to give fleshy, mold-free apples. Giving apples with molds can increase aflatoxin in goat milk if it is a milking animal. Now, let's give it to him. Here little guy, one apple slice for you. Come here now. Farmer's job is always to feed animals some food, and they also drink water too. A personal job for farmers is to take care of the animals, like I mentioned before. Now, let's go to the pigs. Here is the pig section. You see the pigs right here, including my mother pig and her three piglets. Ah, they are so cute. Many of you question on how the pigs take care of their young. Well, interesting. Mother pigs, called sons, often call to their young using a special song to let them know it is time for feeding. She feeds them and teaches them proper pig behavior. They will become aggressive and territorial for the sake of protecting the young. Most of the time, piglets will follow their mother around just like most baby mammals and knows how they learn from their mother how they will take care of themselves. They are also known to maintain their maternal love and care even after the piglets have become fully grown. Mothers will always stick by their baby's side and will continue to be protective over them. Yes guys, mother pigs can be good as they can to take care of their young. I'm not going to touch them right now, but I can move on the cows. Wanna see them? in the udder from nutrients in the blood which flows through the vessels, or tubes, in each quarter. The greater the amount of blood passing through the udder, the greater the amount of milk which is produced. The milk is released as a tea to suck or squeeze. Milking by hand will take from 5 to 10 minutes. So, wow guys, that's interesting as well. So, I'm gonna milk a cow right now because the vessels are ready to get some milk to hand it out. And yes guys, this is my first time milking a cow. Yeah. <laughs> 
horses and ponies too. So guys, I will ride on them later. Good morning, Jow. I'll get ready for you to ride on later. Okay, now, I'll leave this barn and take a break. I'll come back to get my Jow ready for some riding, and then I'll show you guys farming skills. Alright, now, I'm sighting outside my barn, and I am ready to go on to the laptop. And it's time for real discussion. Yeah! Now, today's real discussion is all about Mikey Kaporali, who recently graduated from Bankbridge Regional School recently, so let's talk to him now. Hey Mikey! Hi Muda and Malicia. So first off, congratulations! How did your graduation do, and what did you do before, then, and after that? My graduation went really good. I even said a speech, and I even got a new scholarship, which is a winner for me, and I even, uh, uh, everyone loved it. So, just, you know, I had a great time. So what I did before a graduation is when I actually went oh, to a senior to trip to Six Flags Great Adventure, and I even had a barbecue uh, outside of my GCIT career center. and spent a lot of time with my friends. I even went on rides at Six Flags with my friends. And uh, what I did during graduation was getting ready to do graduation practice and uh, saying my speech, practicing that. And uh, I even, um, what I did uh, afterwards, uh, I went out to eat at Adelphia's. And I had a great time. I ate a cheeseburger and fries, and I, I went with my family, and um, I had a great time. Well, that was nice. Now, next question for you. I know you're going for summer vacation, but what are your plans for summer vacation? My plans are, uh, in summer vacation, is uh, I'm going to Ocean City for the uh, two weeks and in July, and I'm even going to Wildwood uh, uh, for one weekend, and I'm even going to go to Lake City in August uh, with my dad, and... Uh, that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing, and I, I don't know what else I'm going to be doing, but I'll have to let you know ahead of time, so I'm going to have a great time, so. Wow, you will have a heck of a time there. Now, moving on to the next question. How well did your graduation speech went? Like, how did your speech do? My graduation speech went really good, and everyone loved it. I even mentioned my YouTube channel, Mikey Care Productions, and everyone uh, laughed at it, which means it's a good laugh, so everyone loved it, which means, and... I even said something about um, the ACT program, and that got the crowd involved, so that's good. I, my speech went really, really good. Whoa, very interesting for you. That's amazing. Now, besides summer vacation, I know you're involved in the process for the future. What are your plans after graduation? My plans after graduation, I'm probably going to enjoy the summer and maybe go to the shore, like I said, and... Uh, 
after this is all over, September, I'll be going to the ACT program uh, for from September to May, and I'll be staying there for like two or three years, and I'll be studying some stuff, like maybe a couple academics I might do, and uh, I might ha I'll be able to work half days and wor go to school half days, which is the ACT program, and that's what I'll be doing, and I'll be eventually making money. Very interesting too. Good luck on that. And now, I know you are really hyped up on what you're becoming, but what are you going to be when you grow up? Uh, what I'm going to be doing um, uh, in the future is that um, I'll be planning on, I'll see like my care production, this is right here. I'll be actually going uh, to be, uh, maybe I want to be like a full-time uh, videographer in the future. Like maybe as a job, I want to use as a job as videoing. Like and not only for my channel, but I want to use it for my job uh, as a videoing. And uh, I, I'm probably going to... Um, uh, that's that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing. It's, I mean, I'll be working part time job uh, as of right now is to make money, but um, it's some work somewhere, maybe like a Walgreens or Target, I don't know. But and for right now, I'm going to be doing this as a uh, uh, upcoming future. Okay, Mikey. Final question for you. What are you going to give a shout out to? I want to give a shout out to my friends from the Career Center at GCIT who I hang out with this year, which means um Luke Anyefer and Andrea Murphy. And everyone else, even Christian Lemmer Productions and uh, Christian Lem Productions, Christian, and including AKA Christian Lemmer. And I want to give a shout out to the Malaysians, uh, which I'm, I'm going to give a shout out to them. And I want to even give a shout out to my family and everybody. And just a reminder check out Mikey Cap Productions on YouTube. If you never heard of this YouTube channel before, he has some great YouTube videos he's been doing for eight years. So, check him out on YouTube and please subscribe to him. Thank you so much Mikey and I'm looking forward to seeing your videos very very soon. Goodbye Mudu Da and Malaysia. Bye Mikey. Thanks for having me. You are welcome. Well, being a farmer is one of my favorite jobs I want to pretend as. So, let's do trivia time and figure it all out. Okay guys, today's trivia time category is Farm jobs And I know you can guess 5 of the jobs that farmers do And I'm sure you'll be impressed by these jobs too So, here we go Question 1 Which one of them is not a crop? A. Corn B. Soy C. Dog Or D. Meat Dogs are pets, so these are not crops. And I'm quite sure that dogs are nice and friendly pets, so please take care of them please. Question 2. What vehicle do farmers drive on? A. Car B. Truck C. Tractor Or D. Motorcycle Farmers will do hard work on riding a tractor. Now, moving on. Question 3. What plants do farmers grow? A. Plants. B. Fruits and vegetables. C. Flowers. D. All of the above. And the answer is... Definitely all of the above. Because farmers are good at planting things, including fruits and vegetables. That's why when it's growing season, farmers plant all kinds of plants. Next question. Question 4. Why do farmers raise animals? A. They can eat and provide. B. To help nature. C. To help climate change. Or D. To help them exercise. So, that's important. They eat corn and hay grown in the garden. They provide milk, eggs, wool and meat for humans, and their waste will fertilize the soil. Question 5. Why do farmers plow the fields? A. It can break 
up the blocky structure of the soil. B. It can seed up for more plants. C. It can break plants. Or D. It can damage wheat. And the answer is... It can break up the blocky structure of the soil. Yes, more definitely. Plowing breaks up the blocky structure of the soil which can aid in drainage and root growth. Plowing fields can also turn organic matter into soil to increase decomposition and add nutrients from the organic matter to the soil. Many farmers spread manure from cattle and swag onto their fields. Thank you for playing. Alright guys, now we get to the moment you all have been waiting for. I get to ride on Machow, my pony, to the fields, where I get to show you guys my farming skills. Now, let me get Majao ready for the ride, and I'll catch you guys in a few minutes. Hey guys, I got Majao ready for the ride, and it turned out good, and I put a saddle on him, so I'm ready for the ride to the field so that I can do some farming skills once we get there. So, let's ride on him now, okay Majao? Hold on tight. Good boy. Good boy Majao. Hold on. So guys, do you want to come to the fields with us? You do. Mutastic. Let's do it. Come on Majow. Giddy up. Yeehaw. Whoa. Easy now Majow. Yeehaw. Good boy. Good boy, Majow. You stay here, okay? Okay. Good boy. Alright guys, we arrived at the farm fields, where I practiced some farming skills, like cropping, planting and more. So guys, I will show you my farming skills that I've been doing in the past. So, let's get started. Everyone, this is my tractor. I've been driving on this since I first pretended to be a farmer. And I have been planting and cropping on this tractor before. So, let's try it out. Alright guys, I'm on a tractor. And now, it's time to start farming some crops and plants. Let's do this. Yeehaw! Wow guys! This was hard work. And look how I did. I just planted all the fields, as well as new plants and crops, so they're fresh and new. You can see all the plants and crops down here. And also, I plowed all of them too. Isn't it cool? Man, it took a couple of hours to finally get it done. And I never thought this was going to be worse. Now this was the best job I've ever done as a farmer. Now guys, let's head back to the barn. Giddy up Majow. Let's head back home. <laughs> Woohoo! Giddy up! Whoa whoa whoa! Yeehaw! <laughs> Easy now! Good boy Majow. Good boy. Good horsey. Thanks for writing me to the viewers. Well guys, we made it back home. How did I do on riding Majow? If it's good, I'm glad you liked it. If it's bad, then, that's okay, because I ride on Majow very very good as a farmer, and my ride is not only to ride a pony, or a horse, but riding a tractor as well. But anyway, let's take Majow back to the barn and give him an apple slice for his best behavior on riding him. Let's go. Okay guys, so, before I let you guys go, I'm gonna feed Majow an apple slice for his best riding behavior, because he's my pony and I'll never forget him. So, let's do it now. Here Majow, here's your apple slice. Good job riding, you're the best. Here you go buddy. Let's head back. 
back outside. So guys, how was your farm tour? Was it good? Yes, it's good too. I'm glad you enjoyed my farm tour, as well as my bar, basically. Now guys, what's your favorite part of this tour? ride him again when I'm a farmer every time. I love him. Well guys, that's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching my next episode about the farm tour and all about the farm. If you have episode ideas, please comment on this episode below. Alright partners, thanks again, and I send greetings all the way from Malaysia.